Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 17 developer beta versus iOS 17 public beta. Yesterday, Apple has made it official. They announced that iOS 17, iPad OS, Mac OS, TV OS, Watch OS 10, and the HomePod OS will soon get a public beta. And you guys are asking a few questions. Does this mean the software is ready? I wanted to answer those questions. I also want to talk about what's the difference between developer beta and public beta and when we can expect the official official release of iOS 17 and the other software in the public beta testing program. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So the first thing I would like to talk about is how you install betas on your iPhone rather is a developer beta or a public beta because this year Apple changed it entirely for the first time. Now what you have to do is you go into settings, general software update, and then you select which beta you want rather is public or developer beta. Before iOS 16.4, you would have to of course register your device just like you have to do now, but you would have to download a profile onto your iPhone in order to install these betas. Now this year, with that change, Apple actually allowed basically anyone to install developer betas without having to pay the developer fee in order to get those developer beta updates to your iPhone. So it's a little bit different this year. You have to register your device to developer program or public program, and then you go into settings, general software update, and you'll see this menu populate here. Once you click into it, you select which beta you signed up for, and then you can start downloading the software onto your iPhone, which is a bit different and now Apple has mentioned that these betas will be made available soon now I believe Apple will soon be releasing these betas in the next couple of days I would like to say July the 5th or the 6th we'll most likely see developer beta 3 and the official public beta most likely on July the 10th and now no one really knows when Apple will be releasing these updates but based on previous releases of previous softwares throughout the year this seems to be the pattern so next beta for developers developer beta 3 will most likely be available on a July the 5th and the official public beta will be available most likely on July the 10th so stay tuned for that because it'll keep you guys posted so now let's talk about what's actually different between the two betas so a lot of people seem to be confused as into why they're called developer beta 3 or developer beta 4 and public beta 1 or public beta 2 is there anything that's different and to be honest there's nothing that's really different other than the tag name right because apple released a developer beta 1 on june 6 last month at wwdc so we've seen at least two to three betas by the time Apple releases the first public beta. So even though public beta one is the same as developer beta three, the name is different because of the time of its release. Basically, that's everything that's different in terms of features, software, and everything else. They're pretty much identical. They're just named differently because of the time of their release. So now most importantly, I wanna talk about should you update to iOS 17 public beta or developer betas? And this is going to be based on my experience using the software over the past month or so, I'm currently running iOS 17 developer beta 2. And my consensus here is if you have only one iPhone to use, I would say definitely no. Do not install iOS 17 developer beta 3 or public beta 1 just yet. Give it a couple of days. Of course, the software is still buggy. It is still in beta. The battery is not the best. There's going to be app compatibility issues and you're going to run into some issues that make your experience not so good so just keep that in mind if you're looking forward to the public beta which should be available fairly soon most likely uh, next week on July the 10th or so just keep in mind that these software are still in beta even though there's a public beta coming soon it doesn't mean that the software is entirely ready to the general public developers haven't updated their applications entirely just yet so just keep that in mind right now based on my experience I would say do not install the public beta just yet give it a couple of days after it's released to see how things are going again let me know in those comments down below if you're going to be trying ios 17 once the public beta is available or even watch os mac os tv os let me know in those comments down below thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and i answered some of your questions have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace